first question says a student is selected at random from this table what is the probability of the student studying german so if we look over here these are the students that study german so that's going to be six plus eight which is 14. now they're asking us about the probability of the student studying german so we need to find the total number of students Total students is going to equal to the sum of 14 plus 12 plus 6 plus 8, which is going to be 26 plus 14, and that is 40. So probability of students studying German is going to be 14 over 40, which can be simplified to 7 over 20. Then it says calculate the area. Now we know that area of a circle has the formula of pi r square. But over here we have a semicircle, which means the area would be pi r square divided by two. Now this length over here, this represents your diameter because the diameter passes through the center and goes from one point of the circumference to the other. Half of the diameter is your radius, which over here is going to be 4. So radius is 4. We substitute this in the formula. 5 times 4 squared over 2. 25.13 centimeters squared. Next question says find the value of 5. So we have a right angle triangle. They have given us the opposite, they've given us the adjacent, and they want us to find the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always the diagonal in a right angle triangle. So we can easily use Pythagoras, where hypotenuse square equals to opposite square plus adjacent square. So that's going to be y square equals to 5 square plus 12 square, which is 25 plus 144. That equals to 169. Square root both sides to find the value of y. That's going to be 13 centimeters. Next question is complete this table for the graph. So they've given us an equation for the graph, which is y equals to x squared plus 1. And they have given us values of x. So they want us to find the corresponding values of y. So when x equals to negative 2, that's going to be 4 plus 1, which is 5. When x equals to negative 1, that's going to be 1 plus 1, which is 2. Always remember that the square of a negative number is positive. 0 square plus 1 is going to be 1. And your 1 square and 2 square is also going to give the same value. So that's also going to be... 2 and 5. So these are your values. Then it says work out 2a plus b as a column vector. So they've given us what a is and what b is. So 2a plus b is going to be 2 times 2 negative 1 plus 5, 3. That's going to be 4 negative 2 plus 5, 3. We do 4 plus 5 and negative 2 plus 3, and that equals to 9 and 1. That is your answer.